Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. I'm gonna pass all barriers. This is um Jasmine Jean. Jean. Miss Jean. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, we want to thank you all for joining us this evening. We pray that um, you will share uh, and share like Amen. Amen. Everybody will share, 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 share as we begin to venture into the Word. Um, we want to welcome to the discipleship class where one body in Christ and love is the message. Um, uh, we want to just thank you, uh, thank God for what He's doing. We want to just open up in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you um, so much, Lord God, for this day, Lord. We thank you for this moment. We thank you for your presence, your grace, and your mercy, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, that we are in a place that we can come and hear what you will have to say this evening. We ask, Father God, that even as we come together, Lord God, and we fellowship, Lord, as we partake of your word, Father God, that you will allow us to be merged spiritually, Father God, by your word, Lord God. Allow us, Lord God, to be strengthen lord god to continue to fight the good fight of faith father god we pray heavenly father that you will tear down lies lord god tonight father that we may be able to just stand in the truth lord god that we may stand firm on the word lord god that we will say what it is that you are saying lord god and agree with your word um in our heart father god may you allow us lord god to just be blessed by what you have to say father god and just allow us, Lord God, to continue to seek you, to seek understanding, Lord God, as you give us your wisdom, Father God. May you make all things clear tonight, Father, that as we partake of your word, Lord God, that we will not walk away as though we did not understand. But Father, we pray that as each and every person hears the word tonight, may we hear with understanding, Lord God, crush anything that will cause us to interpret your word, Lord God, outside of how you would want us to receive it, Father God, and we just thank you, Lord. May you reach every person, Lord God, that hears tonight. May we be good ground for this word to fall upon, Lord God, and may you just know that we bless your name, Father God. We thank you for being who you are. We thank you for your love, your grace, and your mercy. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Anyway, I'm gonna ask a question. You know, if you uh, venture into the word, uh, uh, there's a tweet making all that noise. Can we put two words so you don't make all that noise? Thank you. Um, you want to ask a question, and first I want to say you want to start out with um, listen. You know, I kind of want to go out as God is leading to, to to listen when someone is speaking to you or to listen. Um, when God is speaking to you, or when God has declared a word to you, to listen. And the reason why I want to go in this area that we need to, you know, we say in the scripture many times, the scripture says many times that that him who have an ear, hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. Amen. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think uh, one of the things I just want to, where we're going today, God is, you know, sometimes you, you go through trials and go through tribulations. And the question is that, then are we, do we have an ear to hear what God is saying? Can we hold on? Can we find ourselves being obedient to the things that God has said, even when it appears that you might be losing? Have you ever, have you ever had God say something to you? And um, when God spoke something to you, it could have been God said, well, this is my husband. Or God says, this is my job. Or God says, I'm sending you to this state or I'm sending you to that state. Or God says, I'm... I'm um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this for you. And as you believe God, because you heard God say it, um, you believe you heard God say it, but in the midst of you hearing God say it, do you ever feel sometimes that it appears like you're losing in the very thing that God said to you? What do you think about that? Um, yes. I think that um, sometimes it can, it can appear that way. Um, it can feel that way. Um, I think it goes back to even, um, you know, like how we started off this year, like putting our eyes back on the one, I think it's very easy um, as things come up and they challenge your faith for you to, you know, stop and look at what is going on around you. Um, and even just like, you know, the different things that you may be hearing, it's, it's very easy for your attention to be taken off of, you know, um, 
what God has said or, you know, just remembering that not only when he says something, just this character that he is faithful to his word. Um, so yes, I do, I do. Amen. And I, I, I find myself sometimes in a situation too, where, you know, God has said something and I'm quite sure if the, uh, the listeners who are listening today, um, may have found themselves and if you do you know you want to respond go ahead and you know respond on zoom or whatever give us a testimony have you ever found yourself knowing that god said something to you or you believe that god said something to you but while you were probably through or uh, even testifying on what you believe god has said it appeared as if you were losing and the very thing that you believe that god was saying that you should have called it should be appearing that you should be winning. And it made me think about Moses. Uh, you know, God spoke to Moses, go, you know, that set my people free. You know what I'm saying? God, Mo Moses was chosen by God to go deliver the children of Israel. And when Moses went to deliver the children of Israel, uh, Pharaoh, um, when Moses went to Pharaoh the first couple of times or several times, um, Moses, Pharaoh did not concede to what uh, Moses was asking him, and you know, you think, okay, man, God done told me something. I'm getting ready to go do this, and when God told me this, I'm going to do it. I know it's going to go the way I want to go. I know it's going to just go all smooth. It's going to be all great. It's going to be all wonderful because uh, God has told me this. You know, I know that God has, um, you know, I know that God has given me His wife. I know that God has given me this job, but then. What happens when you're at that job and it appears that you are losing? What happens when you are at a husband or wife and it appears that you are losing, but you know that God has said it? You, you were testifying and you, you know, God gave you two or three witnesses to say, this is it, this is it. And you get into it and then you appear as um, you are losing. So that's what we God wanted to talk a little bit about today. What do you think about that topic? I just think that topic is interesting. I felt that way. I have felt that way and feel that way. Um, but you know, like you said, it's a challenging of your faith. Your faith. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about that today because I believe in a time that I look at ministry and I look at um, even you know God. I, I, God is, we've been doing a study, the I-N, right? Mm -hmm. In, we've been doing a study about the I-N, and we're still doing a study of the I-N in the book of Ephesians. And I know when, when, when in preaching that, I know what God is saying. And God is talking about I-N. And I was talking to someone about, you know, when we were at Divine Hope and we were preaching, and God was talking about, I'm building, you know what I'm saying? And I said, it's kind of dangerous to be um, in a place where you know God says I'm building, He's building His body, and then now He's talking about I am. You know, I am. And He talked about we first we talked about the heart. The, um, what was it? The culture. The vision. The vision. The, was it the vision? The, the heart, the vision, culture, right? Yeah, the, the heart, the vision, culture. To get back on God's understanding, God's heart, to see God's vision, to understand God's culture. But now we're talking about in. Uh, and, and what God is building, but you know, you hear the word, and God is preaching the word, and um, there are times that you feel like, you know, I'm doing what God said, I'm doing it, but you can feel like you're losing, you know what I'm saying, you feel like you're losing, and and and, and this is a reason for this, and you know, I, God wanted me to talk about this, so we're going to talk about this today, I'm going to, I want you to turn your Bible to the book of James with me for a moment, and I want to, I want to give you some good news, you want to give us good news today, you're going to give us some good news today, I'm, a, I'm, I'm with them, we're getting some of this good, good news, okay. Okay. <laughs> and, 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 and one thing, I, I'm, I'm going to read it in, in, in a simplified version, in, 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 an, uh, in a broken down version, it's not broken down, but it's more simplified version, uh, it says, um, consider it pure joy, so I'm in a situation, come on now, we got to get it. I'm in a situation that I know what God has said to me. I, I know God said this is my wife. I know God said this is my job. I know God says I'm supposed to um, go to California. I'm in California. I'm married or um, um, I'm at the job and it appears like I'm losing. And why it appears like I'm losing, God turns around and speaks to me. And I'm saying, God, I need to hear from you in the midst of this situation you have sent me in. Because I know you say you watch over your word to perform this shall not return void. And I'm in the midst of anybody been in the midst of the situation. And God turns around and says to you while you are listening, you're all kind of, God says to you, consider it pure joy, kind of all joy. You're like, what? Count it all joy. But God, I, 
and it appears, I, I, and then we like to say, it looks like I'm losing, or I feel like I'm losing. I feel like I'm losing in this situation when the reality is how, they, how God gave it to me. No, it, appear, it may appear as if you are losing. There are times that Jesus said, I only do that what I see my father do. And Jesus said, I only um, speak what I hear my father says. But it appeared to, that it looked like Jesus was losing. Amen? If you would have been looking at Jesus and like, man, this can look like he losing. He's taking an L. You know, it looked like he's taking an L. But I didn't even know that it might have looked like he was losing. But Jesus, but 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 it, but he should have come. But Jesus looked at many times. Jesus looked at it as he counted it all joy. Now I'll read you something that I that I I'm gonna finish that verse. It says, Consider it pure joy, my brother and sister, whenever you face trials of many kinds. Because the reason why we feel like we're losing or we may be taking an L because there might because adversity arises in that situation. Come on now. Adversity, the trials arise in that situation. You know, in other words, it's when trials arise in a situation and those trials don't, and things are not going the way we thought they should go or they're not going in the way that we, you know, God said something and, and it looks like it's not going in the way that God said Amen. It's not in, in, in my heart, in my feelings, I'm not feeling, I didn't, or one thing why I like this, or it's, I, I wasn't expecting these certain things to happen when God said this or said that. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to read the second verse too, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Now I want you to say the testing of your faith produces what? Perseverance. perseverance. So it's like, Read, read, read your version of it. Read your version. Okay. Um, it's James chapter 1, mm -hmm. verse 2. It says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, mm -hmm. knowing the testing of your faith produces patience. It is, uh, and, uh, and it's funny because my Bible mine says, it's the same thing. It says perseverance. It says, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And what's interesting about that is that let's look up faith. And faith, what the Bible says now, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Mm -hmm. And it's funny that faith is the substance of things hoped for, but the evidence are not seen. And I think a lot of times when we look at trials and we become get tested, it's because it's not seen. In other words, come on now, we got to get this. When trials come, I'm looking at the trials, but and a lot of times trials will cause you to question is what uh, is what God said true because you're not seeing it. Amen. You're, you're seeing the trial, but you're not seeing, you may not be seeing that which, and in the midst of that trial, you're not seeing what you expected. You're not seeing um, what God, you may think, I'm not seeing what God really said. Okay, God told me to leave. you saying God told me to go to California. And California is, called, I mean, it's crazy. I go to California and the place I was going to stay, they, 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 they told me it's no longer open for me to stay there anymore. Um, I find myself now sleeping with a friend's house on the floor in that situation. It doesn't, God told me to go to California. It's not, I'm thinking, okay, I got a nice place. I'm going it's not appearing, uh, it, it, it appears like I'm losing where God has sent me. Mm -hmm. and, and, the, and what's interesting, he says, now remember, he says, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kind, because, of, because, because you know that the, the testing of your faith, faith come by what? Yeah. Hearing what? The word of God. So watch it. So I heard the word of God. I just didn't expect uh, these test of these trials that came in the midst that caused me not to be able to see. I, I, I heard God. I was excited about what God said. Have you ever been excited about something God said? Come on. You were excited. I was excited about even myself getting married. I was excited about, you know, this new job. I was excited about this new opportunity. I was excited, but when tests began to come in the midst of opportunity, I began to question, did God really say this? Or I can't. And what was funny is I you ever notice that when God says something, especially something that you might really want to hear, let's say God, you you really want to get out of Miami or you you really want to get married or you really wanted this business opportunity, you see you're, what you're looking at is what you have the faith. It's funny, you have the faith to look at, oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. I like what God's saying. It's good because his thoughts toward me are not evil, but to give me hope in the future. So it is good. But 
on the process, on the on, on, I'm going on that process to uh, uh, go after God. You know, you're told everybody, man, God sent me to California. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and everybody see you planning for a wedding. Oh, everybody see you know you 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 got the business opportunity is coming, and now you don't put your name on certain things, but on the business opportunity, but now the money. Something happened to the money, the money funny, the money funny, because they're not even asking for certain things and you don't see the money at that point. You know, but the my Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for. So it's funny that I'm hoping for the money, but hope that is seen is not hope at all. But I don't see the money, but I'm sure that God told me to enter into this business transition. Y'all, transaction. I'm sure that I'm, I mean, I had two or three witnesses that God told me to enter this business transaction. So now I'm being tested. That my my faith is uh the trials that come that are testing my faith. Faith, what what I'm hearing, what I know God is saying. Do you know what's interesting about that? Also, there are trials. I believe when you look at this on a big um universal uh. I mean, kingdom perspective, you know, you look at COVID-19 and you look at all these things, come on. There's try God said, Jesus said, I am the resurrection. Did he say that? Yeah. He said, I'm the resurrection. And he said, he who believed in me, mm -hmm. though, though he lived, though he died, should live. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm tested when death even come. Mm -hmm. I'm tested to believe, can I live even though death is there? But the word Jesus done promised me life and life more abundantly. But he, and, 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 and Peter said in, in his words are the words that lead to eternal life. But I'm looking at just the trials that are coming in certain situations and just wondering, am I, you know, what's going on? You know what's going on? What's going on? And it says to to uh, to produce something. He said these these tests are to produce something in me. Your, your Bible says patience, mine says perseverance, the same thing. But I thought it was interesting when I looked up perseverance, though. Let me, because I thought when I looked up the word perseverance, it says to be, uh, first of all, perseverance, persistence in doing something despite of difficulty or delay in achieving success. Mm -hmm. I like that definition because it's kind of when I look up the word, when I look, it says to be persistent in doing something despite of difficulty or delay, or achieving success. So if I get, I'm, I'm hearing what God is saying, right? I can't, but I don't, I, 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 I'm hearing what God is saying, and, and, and I believe what God is saying, but trials are coming to try my faith. What I've heard God say, remember now, I'm God, I'm listening to you, I'm listening to you, but trials are coming, and now I'm wondering, did you really say this? Or I'm wondering, you know, um, did I make a mistake because of the trials that come out? Why? Because I can't see it, not knowing that the word that God spoke is the substance. Oh, my God. Substance is what I need to hold on to to fulfill what I can't see. Because if faith is the substance, then the word that God spoke to me is the substance that I need to be believing in, even though I don't see it. So the trial sometimes can cause me to, I can find myself looking more at what's coming at me that, make it, that, that makes me feel like, you know, this I mean, I feel like I'm taking an L in this. I'm, I feel like I, it appears like I'm a lose in this situation. I believe when Peter stepped out on that water, my God, my God, he Peter wanted to be like Jesus. Amen. He saw Jesus doing it, so he said, "Beckon me to come to you." So Peter gets a word from Jesus, and Peter steps out on the word and being able to step on the on 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 water. Amen. Being able to supernaturally step on water, uh, a miracle. And but the Bible says as he stepped out, as he stepped on the water, the, the winds got a little more, you know what I'm saying? In other words, the storm didn't calm down. The storm got a little. Have, have you ever been in a situation once you step into it, the word, you got a word, you step into it, and things get, it'll get a little louder. Oh my God, things appear to be a little more crazier. Things seem to be a little more shakier. And yet, Peter began to look at the things that began to be more shakier, a little louder. Things get a little crazy. I, oh, I've been, I've been there and there now. Shaking, you're looking at it, and you're saying, it look like I'm taking an L in this situation. Look like this thing is about to overtake me. I'm taking an L in this situation. But you know what? He, but God says, I'm laying in my bed. He gave me one image where he said, consider, I mean, he said, consider pure joy. Kind of all oh, joy, joy. You want, what do you mean? You want some joy? And it's this way, well, if faith is the substance of things hoped for, if faith is a substance, why should I count it all joy? I'll let you elaborate on that for a moment. 
If faith is the substance, why should I come to God? The only thing I can think is that, again, God's word don't fail. Mm. Come on, say it again. God's word doesn't fail. You said the thing that's funny, that the, like you said, the thing I can think of is the, uh, it's the most obvious. The Bible said he watches over his word to perform it and that his word cannot return void, that it shall Probably. prosper. So even though I look like I'm about to take an L, the, 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 the faith that's as a substance, the word says that it's going to prosper. You got to get this now. This, this is powerful. I'm looking at the situation. The situation appears as if I'm going to take an L. I'm losing. But yet the word that God has spoken, that, that, that the faith that is being tried, he says, I watch over my word, it shall prosper. And so I look like I'm taking an L, but the very word that he spoke says it has to prosper. Mm. So the trying of my faith, the, uh, my faith is being tried. Do, watch this, do I believe, when do I get to the place is it at the place of the trial? When do I get to the place where I believe that I, because watch this, my belief in what's going on. Do I believe in what it appears to be? Or do I believe in what God says? Because that's going to transform my behavior. That's going to transform how I function and operate in that situation. You're gonna get an amen on that. Amen. Amen. So, and, and, and watch it. But I love what he said. But he, see, but God is saying to us that this is what God is saying to you and I today. He's saying be persistent. Oh, uh, come on now. He's saying be persistent. In other words, he's watch what he's saying. He's saying be persistent in doing something despite difficulty. He's saying, I need you to be persistent in doing what you're doing. Do what you do, what you need to do, despite that it's difficult. In other words, remember when God told me earlier, God said to me, say, you know what? I got, he said, I have a lot this year. God told me, he said, um, there's going to be a great fall in the way. He told me this year, last year, there's going to be a great fall in the way. And he said, my people are not loyal. What was he really saying to me when he said my people are not loyal? He is saying they're not persistent. What he, what he said they're not persistent, meaning in doing something despite difficulty. When it got difficult, they began to withdraw. And God, the heart, and the heart that withdraws from God is not worthy of God. Because he's not trusting. Because without faith, you can't please God. So when you withdraw from God, you're actually withdrawing from his word. Because you don't have faith in that word that it can do what it says. So you withdraw. So he says, but, but, but he says, I, but he's telling you this, but I'm, this trial, he said, you have a joy because I spoke it to you. But he says, but I want you to do something. I want, despite of the difficulty or the delay in, in, in achieving success. He says, success is coming. Even though it's difficult, and even though it might be a delay, he says, uh, I want you to keep doing what I told you to do because success is coming. I want, no words, he said, don't matter. So he said, I don't, he says, though it may look like you're going to lose, success is coming if you just be persistent in doing something and despite the difficulty. If you just be successful, he says, success is going to come if you just keep doing what I called you to do despite of the difficulty and the delay. Why? Because my word cannot return void. Amen? My word. And then he says something. Up. Then I go back to the verse. He says, uh, let perseverance finish its work as that you may be. And I like how he wrote down. He says, as that, that you may be mature and complete and lacking, not lacking anything. Right. He's saying, you're not going to come up short. But you're going to be. I like what he says. He said, that, that you may be mature. See, I believe that God being the author and the finisher of our faith, amen? He is your author. He is my author. In other words, the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. He is the author and the finisher of your faith. So God was the one that you had to receive the word from, amen? If he's the author, he had to write it. You can't. See, I'm not talking about people who sign off on their own. I'm not talking about people who go around saying things God said. I'm talking about what God said. We need to be sensitive and listen to what God said and understand that if God has said it, then he watches over it, that it shall not return void. But it, I like it. I love this. But that it shall prosper. Say, I'm prosper. I'm prosper. Even though it may appear that I might be losing. Amen. 
And, I, and even though it gets difficult and it seemed like a delay in the things that I might want or a delay in the things that I perceive that it should go, a delay in my expectation that I should keep working hard toward I should keep, keep going in the direction God said, I should keep doing the things that God told me to do because why? I'm going to get success because God's word cannot return void. In other words, if God has spoken it, it cannot return empty. Come on now. So I need, I, I, that's why I think he says, consider, he says, consider it pure joy. No, that God found you worthy to, 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 to take you to that direction. But consider, but the, but when do you get the joy? When do you consider it joy? When you see it, no. Maturity will call, oh my God. See, when you when we start maturing and God start maturing your faith, you don't have to wait to the, the end of the product to see it. You don't have to wait to the end of the situation. You're going to start having joy in the midst of the storm because you know you already won. Because why? You have tried your faith before. You know what I'm saying? He has taken you from glory to glory to glory. He has, you, you have gone. I have seen God do it before. I have seen God Come through, I'll come through before. I have seen things become difficult. I have seen things be delayed and some things that God said, but because I was persistent, because I kept working hard, because I kept, um, um, because I kept, um, um, doing what God told me to do, even though it became difficult times and delay, I was I saw success in God's word. I saw success in God's word because success, you know what glory is? Glory is when you can speak something and that thing come to pass. And, and when it comes to pass, you consider that to be success. Amen. Success is when you say, Well, I'm going to do this. And no matter how difficult it comes, no matter how many delays it comes, I, I, I have a son, and I, my son, what's funny about my son, he, 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 he and my daughter bought a, bought a home, and I'm, I'm watching his process in buying this home. You know what I'm saying? And they're flipping this home. And I noticed that my son, you know, that you, and I noticed what that they start out, you know, it's, it's joyful when you first get the home. You got the vision of what you want it to be. And you do this. But then there became some difficult times. There's some things that you, I'm just using as I'm not saying this was this situation, but I'm just showing you. Let's say the roof. You didn't expect the roof to, uh, to, to be having a problem. You might not expect. Uh, electric work to be the problem. You might not expect plumbing to be a problem when you first, you didn't see these things when you first bought the house, but they began to occur. You know what I'm saying? Things began to occur when you take a step out in, in the word of God. I'm telling you right now, we're listening to God, but uh, yes, yes, God gave me my wife and things began to occur and it seemed difficult. And sometimes it seems like it's a delay to get, but it is going to be a success if God gave it. Why? Because he watches over his word. Now, the problem is when you're going to have joy, you, are, are you going to let yourself be old? Oh, you know, or are you going to have joy? Come on now. Should your joy be, uh, can you look at the difficulty and say, you know what? We going to, I got to say, this going to win. This gonna win. I don't care what, what this person, I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what they're saying. I have joy because I'm not looking at them. I'm looking at God's word and God's word cannot return what it is prospering in my life. Though I, I feel, and I, I hope this too, I say sometimes it would appear as a loss. Sometimes it appears as that you are taking an L, that you're going to loss. But how do you know when God speaks something, his children don't take no, Amen. his children don't take no, but they, but they have to what have faith in that word that what God has spoken, and what, and even through difficult times and even through delay that that, that because my God said this what God said my thoughts towards you are not evil but to give you hope in the future. So God is really asking today, and I feel this in my spirit. Can you count it all joy? Can you count it all joy? Or have your is your, your your, your mind, is your mind made up, God, even through the difficult times? Come on, God, see, your mind got to be made up even through the difficult times. God, even if, you, if, there's, if there's a delay in what you have said, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still tied in. I still believe you. I still, I'm going to stand in faith. And when, but there has to get a time, I'm telling sons and daughters of God, that when we see all this stuff going on, he says, when will we get to the place, because God don't want to say to us, oh, yeah, a little faith. He said, I'm building your faith to the place where you can get that when you see difficult times or when you see delay, you can count it all joy. Why? Because it's just maturing me. My God, it's just building me up. It's just, why? What is it building up? To, to be able to operate in the fruit of the spirit. Because I'm going to tell you something. It is hard to say that you are a child of God, right? And you're, you're saying that you, you have the Holy Spirit inside of you, the seed of God in you, that's birthed the fruit of God, amen? The nature of God, patience, joy, and this and that. And yet, when, guess what? When, when, when your faith is being tried, amen, and your
It's true. Um, it's just as simple as what you said. You know, like taking your eyes off of you know what what we do hope for. And I think even when we, like you were saying, when you find yourself in these places where like you know you're you're not looking at um what God has spoken, um, and you do find yourself in these places where it's like you know the hope is starting to go down. Your demeanor does change. The way that you treat people does change. And I think. Um, it's funny because even like last night I was, um, I had opened my Bible and I, I, I was reading the, um, there was a part where it, I forget where it was. I think it was in Proverbs, um, but it was talking about how, you know, the King's heart is in, is in, um, the Lord's hands. And for me, it was just one of those things where it's like, even as believers, I think we know when there's like that, that feeling of hopelessness, like it's not something that belongs there because, you know, it's like, it, it's just, it goes against everything that is a part of who you now are in Christ Jesus. So, you know, even for me, it's like, you know, just feeling like, oh man, like looking at, you know, just, I think different situations. It's like one thing when you're going through something in one area, but when it feels like you're getting hit on every side, you're like, okay, this is, you know, you, you can honestly, it's just like being honest. It's like, I feel it. Like, I feel it. I feel it. And, and so even for me, I'm just like, man, I don't, but I don't like when I find myself in a place and it's like, you know, okay, this is not how I know that God will want me to respond. Like I, you know, even thinking of like, he would want me to agree with the good report. Like, you know, the 10 that was sent out to look at the land and it's to say, no, like God has me in this. And, and, and so it's just like me, processing like I know what the word says I know what I'm supposed to do and it's like but I'm still battling with the feeling you know and um I think the interesting thing was was that even in that <clears throat> I can be honest there was a situation and my demeanor was probably not the best like I was watching this and I was like I'm a little upset you know and I was just me in my own my own mind and the sad part I hate to admit it was I was like I'm gonna hurry up and do these issues so I don't have to do the dishes that the people are eating on right now because I'm in y'all this kitchen. And then because and this is it's, it's so it's so sad, but the funny thing is like because God is still there. I, as soon as I walked up the, the kitchen, the first thing I said is, "You want me to get that?" And I'm like, I purposely was trying to get out the kitchen to not watch, you know. But it's just it's that whole thing of like what you're saying, like there is, there's a part where you have to let patience have its way. But I thank God for the fact that even in that, like there are certain seeds that have already taken root in you. So even as you're fighting, like, you know, it's like, okay, you gotta work through this. But I thank God that even me finding that scripture last night, like it was just God kind of showing me like, maybe you're battling with this, but I have made you, I am working in you. So even when you want to think that you don't have this little attitude, this little peace party, like, no, you, you're, what's in you is going to extend the hand to grab this anyways and go do what you're supposed to do, you know? Hey, man, I love you. I love your transparency, too. Um, I don't know, my mind, I keep pondering on that part where it says, consider it pure joy. Mine says, consider it pure joy. Yeah. When, um, when you're faced with trials of many kinds, consider it pure joy. And I then say it's because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Um, the testing of my faith is going to teach me how to operate and function in difficult times, in times of delay. That's where I mature. True maturity is to be able to function in the way of God when it's difficult. True maturity is being able to function in, uh, in the character and the nature of God when it's a delay, when things are not happening as soon as you think they should happen. Are uh, things are not when, when when things are going in a way that you don't think they should go? Can I can I consider it pure joy? Can why? And I think the only way you can really consider pure joy, you have to see the outcome even through the storm. You have to see yourself being able to see things perspectives. Yeah. We hear the word of God, but we see how this person is acting. Or we see things looking crazy. Or we see this. And I think Satan's job is to get you to pay attention to what you see instead of what you heard. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Satan's job is to get you to, to, to pay attention to the natural instead of the God who was able to transcend that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he, his job is that, okay, you, you, um, 
you're trying to go to work and you know in your pocket you have no money because of, uh um because your car broke down you know what i'm saying or certain situations so he's trying to get you to see your car broke down you ain't got no money god has let you down but then God comes and God says to you, I shall provide all your needs according to my riches and glory. And knowing that God has already declared the word over you that he's going to provide all your needs to riches and glory. Now, sometimes there's a delay and it doesn't move as fast as we think it should move or it seems difficult because it might not move. Sometimes it's difficult to us, not difficult to God, difficult to us because he wanted to get you on a bus. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's difficult because we have to go on this bus. But our behavior on the bus can call someone to see the glory of God and some soul can get saved. Yeah. A life can be transformed on how we behave in the difficult time um, or in a time where there is delay. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I wrote this down. It says, and if any of you lack wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and will be given to you. And I think about wisdom, that, that word wisdom means, it means that word wisdom means reverence of God, understanding who he is. If we lack the reverence for we need to God. And I, and I love what he said. He said without finding fault. I thought that was interesting. I mean, he'll give you what you need to reverence God and not find fault that you were weak or that you struggled in that situation. If you lack wisdom, the beginning of all wisdom is to fear the Lord, to reverence God. So if I found out in the situation that I lack wisdom. And I acted out. Let's say I acted out a certain way. God's not going to look at my, he's not going to, he, he, I like what he says. He says that um, the way it's written here, he, um, he, would, he, he would give it um, generously to you, to all without finding fault. He's not going to find fault. And when you have, he's going to give you what you need because he's the author and finisher of your our faith to be able to, to be able to overcome that um because when i begin to reverence god when i begin to acknowledge god in the midst of that situation what am i what i'm saying that no matter how difficult it is no matter how it's delayed that my god is bigger than that situation the wisdom of my god is able to resolve that situation when you know i i, I think of, i look at it like this if i was like financially going through financially destitute i'm broke and my dad is rich right and I know that my dad, and, and, and I'm, I'm going to my dad's house because, and I know that my dad has everything I need in this situation. But I um, then, and I know that my dad is not looking to find fault, but looking for me to grow in that situation. Then, and he's the substance of what I need, but my dad desires to bless me what I need. The problem is maybe my pride. The problem is maybe. You know, um, I'm not. I'm gonna look past your thoughts on how you act. Now, and, and that okay you know like you said you said a righteous man might fall down seven times but get back up and keep going that's that perseverance mm -hmm. you know to be able to um and it's so funny because in reality i'm sitting here and i'm like this we 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 circled this last like i think last maybe i don't know we, but we've been here before and yeah. it's like even with the same analogy of like when God has given a word, he has spoken a word, mm -hmm. and then what do you, how do you respond in the midst of everything getting taken away from you? Yeah. And so I'm just like, okay, that's again the goodness of God. Like, yeah. it, here it is again. And I believe it's encouraging myself and yeah. encouraging us. Because um, as I'm speaking, I say, Lord, you know, it's funny um, because sometimes you feel like, but I, I don't know why in this time I kind of felt. Sometimes you feel like you're losing, you know, and you feel like you're losing in a situation because there's a lot of things can be happening at the same yeah. time. You feel like you're taking an L because a lot of things can be happening. 
But, you know, when I'm, like I said, it was funny because I'm, I'm meditating with God. He said, count it all joy. He said, and I'm looking at it, he said, count it all joy. And, it's, and what God is really, like I said again, what God was really saying to me was, um, stop looking at the situation as though that situation can make my word none and void. Right. Stop looking at that situation as if because it's difficult or because this is delayed that I can't do what needs to be done in that situation. He says, just trust me. Just trust. And then our behavior through that situation. I know, you know, you could go through storms and we went out on the street ministry, right? We go out. And I think a lot of times when you can be, you know, like it says, it says be persistent in doing something despite the difficulty. Be persistent in doing something. I like that word persistent and consistent. Be persistent and consistent in doing what God has required you to do, even when it's difficult. You know, um, I, 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 I believe that, you know, because some people, you know, when they lose their hope, they, okay, I'm not, well, I don't want anybody talking to me. You know, we shut down. You know what I'm saying? We shut down. I don't want anybody bothering me. Uh, I'm done. I'm just going to go become a hermit. Like, no. But he said, when he's saying perseverance, he's saying be persistent in doing something despite the difficulty. Even though it's difficult, be persistent. You know what I'm saying? In other words, don't make up your mind to carry out what needs to be done. Be persistent. And he said, and I like to say, despite the difficult. So he's telling you, be persistent, despite difficult. It's going to be difficult, but keep doing it. Yeah. it, it or, or delay. It might delay, but keep doing it. Because you're going to achieve success in this situation. You're going to achieve success. And I believe with us, as children of God, we need to look to achieve success. And it's going to be difficult in times of delay, but God is able. Amen. Amen. So you're not losing. Even though it may appear you're losing, count it all joy because God is faithful to his word and his word will not return void, but he shall prosper. And that's what she has sense to do. So success is coming your way. Success is coming your way. Success is there. Just keep doing. Keep doing. Even though it's difficult, despite it's difficult, keep doing it and Keep doing what God is asking you to do. Keep moving, even though it seems, appears as a delay. Keep doing it because God is going to bring you through. God's word is not going to come back void. You're going to have success. I'm telling somebody, someone is listening on Zoom or someone is listening in this room. God is saying to you that you are going to have success, but just because it has become difficult and just because it has been, it appeared there's the, the delays. Don't think that God has abandoned that which he has said he's going to do. Just keep on, and I like what he said, be persistent in doing it. Amen? Yeah, can I share it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So just because I know, like, um, you keep, you know, reiterating success, and I love that even in um, Joshua, like, God maps out success according to the word of God. And so in Joshua um, chapter 1, um, it was, it was basically like when God commissioned Joshua to go out and to fulfill what Moses um, was not able to, to do as far as leading the children of Israel into the promised land and to um, basically conquer the land and make sure that all of the brethren got their, their lot that was appointed for them. Um, the Lord encouraged Joshua and he basically um, told him, he said, to be strong and of good courage for to this people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left that you may prosper wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate, it, meditate in it day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid nor be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And so I just, I just wanted to reiterate that because it ties into a lot of what we said about just, you know, the, the meditating about, um, you know, what the, what the Lord had said and, um, you know, letting that be our, our strength um, and our courage and knowing that, 
you know, no matter what we're going through, that the Lord is with us. And it doesn't mean that, you know, the trials won't come up. But again, it goes back to the, as long as we remember that the Lord is with us. And like you said, we don't take L's because he don't take L's. So, yeah. I wrote this down. I wrote this down. I believe in what God has said. We have to say, I believe in what God has said. Amen. Mm -hmm. God is with me. I know that all that all that matters is that God is with me and victory is mine. Amen? Amen. You have to begin to claim victory. See, when you're counting something joyful, it's because you see the victory. Even though you feel, even though it may appear that you might be losing, you see the victory. Amen. Amen. And you count it joy. See, you count it all joy because you see the victory, because you know that God, like you say, God doesn't take like God doesn't take any ill. I can do all, the Bible says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Knowing that God will give you the strength. That Christ, you, can, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. What things? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can go through difficult times. I can go through the times of delay. And I can count it all joy because I know that I already got, I have, even through a time in America where, life, where great lives are being lost, where there's a lot of things going to COVID-19 and a lot of situations, I count it all joy to go through these situations, these trials and tribulations, the way they be difficult and delays. But I believe that God, I believe the promises that God has established over our life, amen? Mm -hmm. And I believe, so there is victory. I want to tell somebody today that you have victory. No matter how it looks, I know it may look like you're taking an L, it may appear that you've taken an L. Jesus, it appeared when Jesus went on that cross, amen, mm -hmm. that he was taking an L. But three days later, my God, three, three days later, there's a resurrection. So you know what? When you say, Lord, thy will be done. A lot of times when Jesus said, Lord, not my will, but thy will be done. After he said his will be done, like he took an L. After that, he got, when he said, Lord, my will be done, he got betrayed by his disciple, one of his disciple. He got denied by a disciple. He got 10 disciples just left him hanging when he said, when he agreed to God's word. But at the end, my God, at the end, he was resurrected. Amen. And now he sits up on the right hand side of the Father. And his enemy is, it's, and it made his, and the Father has made his enemy his footstool. His footstool. God is going to resurrect you. There is a victory coming your way. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm just telling you what God is saying. Victory is coming your way. I know it's been difficult, and I know it appears that it's been delayed. I know, but God is saying, He say, 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 be persistent. Keep doing. Um, keep doing. I, I keep on saying it because perseverance means persistent and doing something despite the difficulty or delay in achieving success. No matter. You have to, in, 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 in achieving that success, you have to push through the difficult times and you have to push through the delay times and you have to rejoice because you know that God is able to do what he said he would do. Amen? Amen. That's the word for the night. It ain't long, it's to the point. Because I know God wanted to encourage somebody tonight to understand that you have, myself included, how about you? Me too. He wanted to let you know that somebody in this room, somebody on Zoom, that you have victory. Even though it's difficult, keep doing what God told you to do. His word will not return void. So go ahead now and count it joy. Count it joy that God is maturing you and found you worthy. Took the much found you worthy to suffer for his name's sake, to mature you. Hold on to what God has said to you and fight the good fight of faith. All right. I'm gonna pray out. Lord, thank you for this evening. Thank you for this word of gracious and glorious God. If we have anybody that wants to ask a question, you might ask a question. You know? So we thank you, gracious and glorious God, that your word will not return void. Though it appears difficult, God, and though it appears that there's uh, the delay in uh, maybe the joy that we wanted in the situation, maybe the peace that we wanted in a certain situation, maybe it's difficult, maybe the, the love that we wanted in situation or circumstances. But God, we count it all joy, Father God, and the testing of our faith. Father God, but we know that it is working in us perseverance, Father God, teaching us how to what, trust in your word through difficult times, how to hold fast to your word through delayed times, and operating the nature of your character, Father God, that people may see your glory. We ask you this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Deuce, 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 deuce. Good night.